Hey, how's going? Today I'll show you how to get this amazing and totally free live TV application which you can use to watch live channels from US, UK, Canada, Australia, Europe and so on. It's totally free to use and you can set up it on your Fire Sticks or Android TVs. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get that app to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we'll go to search on your device. There it is. Open it, and here in the search bar, we need to start typing Downloader. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get Downloader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So in order to actually set up the loader, we got to go to the settings on your device. So let's do it. To do so, we go and click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. Here, we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. To do so, just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times, and do it fast. So let's do it. And now, as you can see, for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So go back and you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then we gotta go to download, sorry, install unknown apps, and from here we have to turn that option on for downloader. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, open it, and here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Hungary right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go and finally open up the loader, which is going to be right here. We open it. There, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, click on Home, and there in the search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 28907. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistake, because obviously, if you make a mistake, the link is not going to work. After that, you'll have to click on Go, and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has opened, we just have to scroll down a bit until you see that list of categories. And from here, we'll have to click on Live TV. So let's click on it. 
And now a huge list of apps has opened. And from here, what we're looking for is the Blink Streams application. That's exactly the app we are going to get today. So we click on it, then an ad might pop up for you. If it does pop up, don't worry and just click on close or on X to close down the ad. In my case, I have to click on X and now the ad is going to close and a new web page is going to open up. There it is. Let's scroll down until we find the download button now. It should be somewhere here. Yep, there it is. Let's click on that download button. And now the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then you have to click on install and wait until Blink Streams gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device we are using. And then don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary installation files from our Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because you don't have too much of free space on your device anyway. Now we'll have to go to settings once again. So let's do it. Click on that gear icon, go back to my Fire TV, to developer options, install on apps, and this time we'll have to turn that option on for Blink Streams. The only reason for that is because the app might need to install some update files, and in order to do so, we have to turn that option on. And now when you go to the list of apps on your device, here it is loading, and scroll down to the bottom, there you'll find the app that we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way Blink Streams is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore is going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.